Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. <laughs> Let's play some more of our Terraria Calamity Mod campaign playthrough here. And we are in a new biome, for us at least. We are in the Abyss. And the reason being is I made myself a Mega Shark. But you can actually upgrade the Mega Shark to the Megalodon. And all we need is a couple of things from over here that I'm pretty sure we can get all of it right now. I also went ahead and made us a Cosmolite, which is uh, craftable. That allows you to switch between the thingies the day and night. And then I also made us a bunch of these frost spark bullets, which are quite powerful. I think they're gonna be very good. They're super strong for single target, so. Very helpful. So we're gonna try this. Now, admittedly, I don't really know. I don't think I'm actually gonna be able to get down here without like a diving gear. Let's see, yeah, cause I'm gonna be taking damage from the poison and all that. Um. Okay, so now I'm just taking... Interesting. Yeah, okay. Well, this isn't going to work. Hmm. Well, that didn't work out at all. <laughs> so, we need to get basically stuff from killing enemies down there as well. Ooh. Gatligator. Interesting. Cool. Alright, regardless. And we also got a trash can. Summons what? Yo, what? The Trash Man. Oh, I love that. We have Danny DeVito following us. <laughs> uh, that's really funny. That actually makes me really happy that that's a thing. Okay, so we also got a sticky dynamite. Oh, that made me laugh. Okay. Um, so anyways, uh, I think... Let's see here. Because there's one thing. It's called your... Uh, it's called like something diving gear. Gear, Abyssal Diving Gear here. So, Depth Charm, actually don't know. I think that's something we just find down there. So, we can, we have Arctic Diving Gear. Pretty sure we have that. Um, Over here. Arctic Diving Gear, cool. So, let's actually put that on instead of, say, Scarf. Let's try that again. So if you're wanting to go over, you can just go like, put this guy here and depending on which side it is. So since it's on the right side, you just put it in there and you right click, oh, right click and there you go. The enemy's riding on a magic carpet. Well done, Calamity. All right, so let's go ahead and put the Arctic Diving Gear on. So we'll still take the damage from the poison, but as soon as we get past that, we should be fine. Make the shoot so I can actually see where I'm going. Okay, and so, okay, so we can actually hold our breath for quite a while, which is nice. Um, so we're going to need to kill some enemies. They will drop depth charms as well as some other things. So let's let's go ahead and grab this Tenebris. That's plenty much. Interesting. Where's this other stuff at then? Hmm. Now you are on a schedule here. Abyss Gravel. This is not what I want. So we got a bunch of stuff, but that's none of it is what I wanted. Oh, okay. So this is Tenebris right here. I believe. <gasps> we can't mine it. No. What the heck? Must need the pickaxe or the uh, pick saw or whatever it's called. The hack something or other. So what do we make plenty mush with then? We can make life fruit with living shards, right? So none of those are actually particularly helpful. I also upgraded our alchemist charm, so our buffs will uh, now be cheaper and they will last a little bit longer. And we have a high chance of not using them when we consume them, which is nice. A couple Spelunker glow sticks I don't care about. Okay, cool. So I think we're definitely going to be trying to fight the uh, the twins again. Let's go ahead and put that on. We have all of our buffs that we need. Um, so let's see here. How much do these combinations cost now? Oh, much cheaper now. Very nice. Okay, cool. So when you just take the Cosmolite, make it nighttime. Realistically, I should probably have a better um, arena than I do, but I'm going to wing it again. So we're going to hit B. We didn't use either of them because of our charm, which is nice. And then we summon the twins and we have our, uh, our better weapon here. So it actually should be a little bit easier to... Uh, Oh, 
Oh, come on now, you jerk. Okay, um, so I can't say that we're necessarily doing a lot of damage to them, but we're definitely hurting it. Okay. I'd like to get an adrenaline boost if I can. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Woo! Counter scarf for the win, baby. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. I think I'd like to kill the green one first, probably. Oops. Getting hit by a bunch of stuff. Ay, caramba. Okay. Did he shoot lasers very quickly? It's hard to dodge them, actually. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, this is tough. Um. I actually don't really know the uh, how to dodge this stuff. I'm not gonna lie. He just shoots so often. I don't know how to dodge it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I would rather just, uh... Oh! Oh! I took the potion! Okay, let's see if we can kill the retinazer then. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, yeah. So, I think I can actually do this. Maybe I need to prepare a little bit more. This is kind of nutty. I'm trying to shoot the, the laser eye. That's what I'm going for. Okay. I think I can do this. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. We might be able to do this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I have very low health. One hit and I'm dead. Oh my gosh. Okay, three seconds. Okay. Honestly, we just need to hit it at this point. I'll stick with this thing. Okay. I think we can do this. Okay. If I had chlorophyte bullets, that would be super useful, but I don't. Oh, he hit me. <laughs> Thought I was actually going to be able to finish him off with an adrenaline hit. All right, cool. The twins are dead. It was admittedly a little bit harder than I anticipated it being. So we have the mechanical bosses. I see you have awakened Drayden's old toys. Once useful tools turned into savage beasts where their AI went rogue. A mistake that Drayden failed to rectify in time. The biomechanical watchers of the night originally created as security using the souls extracted from human eyes these creatures did not belong in this world it is best to be rid of them place in your inventory to gain invisibility and rogue bonuses at night that's very cool probably not going to use it all right some more magnum rounds that i don't quite know what they do or if there's a way to make them seems like you pretty much just get them from bosses so we have hallowed bars now finally, so we can make some stuff with that. Uh, we can't make this until we have defeated all three of them. Um, yep, this is uh, after Plantera. Hallowed repeater is usually pretty good, but uh, Mega Shark is probably a, a bit better. Um, uh, weapon out. We can just make 
hallowed armor if we want. Okay. Meld bars we do not want yet. Gleaming Magnolias. It, you, I don't know about now, but I know it was so, so good if you enjoyed Mage. I used this for so long when I played a Mage campaign a while back. Um... Would like to get this, but we can't make that. So the Cosmic Bolter, we also can't make. Dual Poon. We don't have Souls of Might. We have Souls of Sight and... So Wait, we do have Souls of Might. Okay, so let's see if we can do that. Oh my gosh, I don't want this in my inventory. I can't see where I am. Um. Okay, so... We have two Harpoons. I think I might have only one. No, we don't have e any. I think you can only get those from the Goblin Invasion. So let's go ahead and summon one, just to see. That was a quite a nerve-wracking fight, I'm not gonna lie. That was fun, I enjoyed that. Now we're just gonna wait on this uh, invasion. I'd like to get some harpoons. This is such a funny little guy. Look at him, <laughs> riding on a magic carpet, and then he just, whenever he's falling, he like flips over onto a belly flop. That's great. Take a sip of my tea while I'm waiting here. Hopefully I didn't um, get rid of it by switching time. There we go. Cool. So we are in hard mode actually, so it's gonna be a bit different than it was, than it was before. Um, okay, this is actually gonna be, oh my gosh. Way harder than it was last time, that's for sure. Okay, cool. So we got a bow. Shade flame, shadow flame bow. Seems pretty good. Does a lot of damage. Oh, those guys are right there. I didn't, oh, it does AOE damage. Very good, cool. Well, I'll actually hold on to this. Okay, so this is actually a decent bow. Very cool. I want harpoons, though. That's what I'm looking for. Might need to... Oh. Sorry, trying to focus up a little bit here. There we go. And another one comes out. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and just kill her with this. Good, dropped another bow. Fine. Okay, so this is doing okay. Uh, I think the shade shadow flame bow is actually doing a little bit better. Hmm. This is a melee weapon. Kinda cool. Let's stick with the bow. Since that's what we have uh, all of our buffs on right now. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're actually going to get the harpoon we're looking for. We need two of them, so more than likely not going to happen, but that's fine. It doesn't actually bother me a whole lot. No harpoon. Sad times. Eh, whatever. So. Huh. I suppose our only real chance is to get this. 
Because I don't think we can get Tanabris except for down there. Which apparently we need. Abyssal diving suit. Oh, okay. So this got a got a reskin. It used to look different. I just don't know if the gear that I have is uh, the most current. This is most current for sure. Um, let's put you back on there. Oh, I might be able to make this one. I need like. Seems like it's kind of a pain in the booty to make, though. Hmm. So let's see what souls we have, then. So we have souls of might and sight. That would mean we need souls of... Which one? What's the last one? Um, let's go with the uh, pickaxe. Axe, Sight, Might, and Bright. Oh, geez. Okay, so that's going to be the Mechanical Skull. It's a little uh, intimidating, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little concerned about that one. Can't make Angel Treads yet, either. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to have to fight Skeletron Prime. We will give it a good college try here. Um, I think I probably will actually make a better arena though, because that last fight was probably way harder than it needed to be considering, um, considering what I had available to me. So we want it to be made out of just regular wood, click it from there to there, there to there, and we'll just avoid the planet, but that should be pretty good for us. All right. So, we're going to go to nighttime. We still have our buffs, so I'm not going to waste another one. Let's just go ahead and uh, do this. And I'm actually going to... Oh, he shot me with a laser as soon as I spawned. he spawned in. I'm actually just going to use the Butcher. I think the Butcher might be my better bet. Oh, and I ran into a campfire. Fun. So, I'm actually not sure what his... Uh, oh, come on now. Those campfires are actually killing me, though. Might be able to actually just... I'm getting, I'm getting whooped here. Hmm. Not even, like, doing anything to him. Do we need to kill his hands first? Because I think in the original Skeletron Prime, you didn't need to. Looks like we actually might need to. Hmm. He's widely considered one of the harder um, mechanical bosses. And for good reason. Look at this, it's just full of hell. Dang Harpy here. Okay. So I think I can probably do this if I had the right preparation done. I think my arena is actually adequate. Just a matter of getting the timing down and everything. Hmm. Yeah. It's all about the timing for me. So I assume I'm gonna have to kill his hands to get him to, uh, his head to be weakened. Okay. I think I can do that. I think I can do that. Maybe I should just fight the destroyer since I, um, since I have his summon, right? So let's just go ahead and uh, summon the destroyer. Let's use our potions. And then summon him. And we have our... Uh... Let's 
the Dallas Stormbow, which I actually don't know if you guys had seen or not, but it's a very strong weapon that I'm a big fan of. Very strong against the worm types. Gotta kill these little laser guys because they're gonna just do a do an absolute number on me. Let's go ahead and heal up. There's so many of them, dude. I think every segment that he has can drop one, which is kind of nuts. Hmm. And all this time, our arrows are hurting him, so... Oh, sheesh! As long as you're moving, as long as you're moving, you won't get hit by the lasers. Just gotta keep on moving. About to get my adrenaline. Very good. I think I can probably ha man manage this. Oh. Skeletron Prime might be a whole other story, but I'll do my best. Oh man. No fair. Alright. Just gotta be careful with the lasers. The freaking laser beams. Alright. Oh, what? Come on now. I'm frozen. Lame. I wonder if this thing will do much more damage. It looks like it actually is doing okay on the damage. Interesting. Ooh. All right, so I think the destroyer is going to be toast here in a moment. And now his lasers are green. Oh, sheesh. Oh my gosh. He's getting quite fast. Oh my gosh, his head does a lot of damage. Oh no, 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 Okay, we're good. Just gotta keep an eye on the mini-map. Watch out for the head, because the head will do quite a bit of damage to you. Okay, there we go. Come on now. We're getting very close. We're very close. Oh, I ran right into that one. And that one. My ranged weapon proficiency is leveled up, apparently. Okay. Alright, and I should be it. He should be dead now. Very good. All in a day's work, so we now have the Destroyer, a machine brought to life by the mighty souls of warriors and built to excavate massive tunnels and planets to gather resources. Could have proven useful if uh, this dude wasn't hurting me. Get out of here, you punk. Could have proven useful if Dradon didn't have an obsession with turning everything into a tool of destruction. Place in your inventory to gain a pick boost to your pick speed, so I'll probably hold on to that. We got 45 gold. Bunch of stuff. Yep, so nothing has really changed here. Possibly I should make a uh, hallowed beset. I think I can certainly afford it. Let's see here. 
I don't know how it competes with uh so we, we can afford it so let's just go ahead and make one I don't know if it's worth but we're gonna do it uh, mana ranged damage so Mega Shark is 46 and 41, and we are going to 45 and 38. So it's actually less damage and uh, comparable defense. What's our set bonus for this? Not consume arrow, ammo. Okay, so 85 defense, 84 defense. So you gain one more defense, but less damage. 45 and 38, 46 and 41. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, I'll probably just hold on to the set that I have right now, unfortunately. Huh. I'm not sure. So I'm going to do a little bit of preparation, see if I can beat on, uh, beat up on uh, Skeletron Prime. Oh, Brimstone Elemental. I forgot about that one. And the Aquatic Scourge. Okay, so I actually have some, some options. I actually forgot about this. Brimstone Elemental. Okay, cool. Well, in the next episode, we're definitely going to be making our way over to uh, various uh, biomes. The Brimstone Elemental you fight here, and the Abyss dude you fight over there, the Aquatic Scourge. So let's see here. Seafood. Can I make that? Seafood. Just need some sulfurous sands, some shark fins, some starfish. Actually, don't know where if I can buy shark fins anywhere, because I did have a bit of a trouble finding them so I could make this mega shark. I ended up having to uh, farm them out, which was kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Let's see here. Horrifying skull. Hmm. Nope. Transforms the holder into a snowman. Very good. Oh, okay. So we can actually, oh, we can buy those too. Boss drops. These are all ones that I already have. Black lens. All right, cool. Well, I will get this all sorted out in between episodes, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please show your support and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to check out the Patreon to support the channel or our Discord to join the community, links for those are in the description down below. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon, Bloodbound92, as well as Udaldo, Jaron Clampett, Corbett Gaming, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal, Lambda Driver, Damian Hartvig, and others for your awesome support. I appreciate you very much. There's going to be a couple of series linked on the right over there, and I think you might appreciate them. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.